Good afternoon, Commissioners. Uh, good afternoon. Interesting afternoon there, First Amendment, all that sort of stuff. Jolly good stuff. Uh, my name obviously remains uh, Martin Hyder. Made a couple of notes, uh, brought a couple of memes, so we'll do both. Um, obviously the news last week that Moat Marine is planning to move to Benderson Park after many years of enjoying taxpayers' subsidies in our city, uh, to the tune of renting their whole facility for a dollar a year, came as a shock to some city commissioners, and to my mind, quite rightly so. Uh, 300,000 visitors, by the way, is way more than the Baltimore Orioles bring here. Uh, so we're not talking small potatoes, and we don't need to be mature about getting whooped, which is what happened. So, it would appear to be a developing pattern of our city management. Being asleep at the wheel, when important deals are made, which is exactly what Commissioner Brody said. Going already is the Players Theatre, who ironically also benefited, benefited from city taxpayers donating a part of the land they just contracted to sell for millions of dollars to facilitate a move to Lakewood Ranch. Uh, going to, as uh, we've just been hearing, uh, is one of the best loved attractions of our city to the new non-Bayfront site at Benderson Park by I-75. Uh, gone also in recent weeks um, is the interest of Harvey Vengroff uh, to building desperately needed affordable housing in our city after being stifled at every turn by regulations and roadblocks, including a demand from our city to note every tree over two inches high uh, on his site, which might also be known as a, a weed report. Whatever it is, it's certainly not designed to keep people here. What should shock the commissioners and all city residents is that all of these events were well known in advance of them happening by the city manager, were not urgently brought before the commission's attention, but rather left the years old decisions made by previous commissions. That was then, this is now. The question that all of this begs is the fairly obvious pondered already, three W's, as in who knew, when did they know, and followed by why weren't the commissioners urgently consulted. It's an old adage that if one doesn't look after one's customers, that someone else will. But it would appear that there are certain people who are unlikely to be here for the long term who don't really care. If we don't want to become a second-rate city, we have to keep our finest assets. And I submit that our management is now 0 for 3 in the last few months, which in baseball would mean you're out. Thank you so much. Your Honor? Mr. Barlow. Just some facts, because those sometimes get lost.